Uh, Brandon, we really got to tread water lightly as we move through the next week because another heat wave is going to come along with dry conditions as we've already got a total of five fires burning across the Beaver State. We'll go ahead and zoom in, kind of break down everything. The one that's just outside of Waldo Lake, that's the Cedar Creek fire burning over 4,000 acres today. It started back on August 1st. A trip down to Douglas County shows the Wendigo fire burning just to the south of Crescent Lake and Summit Lake. And then if we zoom in just to the south and west of Summit Lake, that's the big swamp fire burning just 121 acres, but nonetheless, that one's not expected to be extinguished until about the end of October. And then of course, we got the Potter fire that's just to the northwest of the Limola Lake. So we got to keep a very close eye on that as all of these wildfires continue to produce smoke here across Western Oregon, but thankfully, all due to the northwest winds, we're seeing all of that wildfire smoke is expected to remain clear of the I-5 quarter, and that's exactly why we're seeing good air quality across much of our forecasting areas. Our skies remain clear, rain-free. We do have the threat for some thunderstorm activity down towards the south tomorrow. Again, dry lightning, that's going to be our biggest concern as the extreme heat finds its way back to the Pacific Northwest over the next week or so. But coming up in my extended forecast, we're going to take a closer look at exactly where the mercury is expected to climb, how long it will stay there, and who just might see some cloud coverage to put a bit of a damper on those temperatures coming up in the next several days. Brandon.